Hi everyone. Today we are going to use uh, trig identities to find the value of an expression. So let's work on this. Let's get right onto it, right? So let's say that over here you are asked to find uh, cosine and secant of, uh, secant of u. Well, you are given tangent of u equal to two and cosine of u is negative. Meaning that to tell you that cosine of u over here is positive and over here cosine of u is negative. So to find this is a very good indication that we need in order to solve the problem properly, right? First, we need to find out, right? First, we need to find out what quadrant we are in, right? So let's find out. So remember that y is equal to sine of theta, and then x is equal to cosine of theta, right? Where your tangent is y over x. So let's check in the first quadrant over here, right? So where your ten is y over x. So let's write it down here. So 10 of theta is y over x or sine over cosine. So, so let's find out. So in the first quadrant, cosine is positive, right? Cosine is positive on the first quadrant. However, right? However, we know that in the indication that they gave you, cosine must be negative. So meaning that we are not on the first quadrant. So now let's check the, the second quadrant. On the second quadrant, cosine is negative, which is true because x here. But tangent is not is not is not um, positive. So it means that we are not on this quadrant either, right? Let's check this quadrant. So in this quadrant, cosine is negative, right? And then sine is negative. So which means that tangent will be positive. So it, it means that we are on this quadrant over here, right? So we are on this quadrant over here, right? So this is the quadrant we're working on. All right, second, second, we need to, second, we need to find, you need to find what identities you are going to use in order to find um, cosine of u and secant of u. And also you need to find out what, how can I get secant from tangent Oh, why can I get cosine from tangent? You notice that you cannot get cosine from tangent here because, because you do not have sine. If you are given sine, you could say that, hey, I am going to use sine and cosine, right? But you are not given that. But you notice that you can get you can get um secant, you can get secant from tangent. The way you find it is using the Pythagorean theorem here in terms of tangent and secant, so which is one plus uh 10 squared of u equals to secant square of u, right? And then now we are going to replace a tangent by its value. So remember that tangent was given, the value of, of tangent is uh, two, so it's going to be two squared, right? And then equals to secant square u. So you know that uh, two squared will give you four and then plus one, is it, it's five. So you have secant square of u equals to five. So now you need to take the plus or minus, positive and negative square root of five. So meaning that secant is equal. Let me ask you that question. So if we, what is what is the sign of secant on the third quadrant? So yeah, the sign of secant on the third quadrant is negative. So which means that the value of secant over here is the square root of five. And then we are done. All right. So we are not done with we are done with secant, but we are not done with cosine yet. So how can we get cosine from tangent and secant? So we still have the same issues here. So we cannot get um, cosine from tangent because we don't have sine. But remember that we can use the identities where you have cosine of u is equals to one over secant of u, right? And then you remember that you are given you're not given the value, but you already found the value of um, u of, uh, secant of u over here, right? So we define this value of secant of u, so you can just replace it by its value, so which you will have cosine of u equals to one over this minus square root of five. Now you need to rationalize it, right? When you rationalize it, you will have, you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of five, and then you're left with, and then you're left with cosine of u, equals to minus square root of five over five.
and then you are done. So you notice that, so you notice that cosine is negative, right? So that's what they give you over here since they already said cosine is negative. You see cosine is negative, meaning that what you did is correct. And also secant is negative on the third quadrant, secant is negative here. So you get negative five, right? And then that's all. So if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.